Hello, Gemini. It's Milady from Milady's Wing Care, and I'm coming here to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 9th through the 16th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I'd like to close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get some show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> some some show on the road. All right, Gemini. What's going on with the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, love reading. Gemini, love reading for the week of October 10th. No, October, October, October 9th through the 16th, 2017. October 9th, 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 9th through the 16th, 2017. Gemini, 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 love reading. Gemini. Okay, so we got some violations of personal space. All right. Somebody feels like, you feel like somebody is purposely doing stuff wrong to piss you off. All right. So it seems like somebody might purposely be doing stuff wrong because they feel like they can do whatever they please. They can do what they want. Or this could feel like you, this could be you feeling like you can do everything you want. But when somebody do something to you, you know, you go nuts. Okay. Yikes. Okay. So it seems like Whew, the person that you're dealing with may not love you. And it might be because of these um, violations of personal space. It's like, I feel like I keep hearing you're doing too much. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. And it's caused this per person to fall out of love with you or you to fall out of love with them. Okay. All right. So it seems like either... This person may have, your partner may have gotten someone else pregnant, or you could be fertile right now, so be careful if you don't want babies, or um, they might have started a relationship elsewhere, or you could have started a relationship elsewhere, okay? Or this all could just be a new relationship. Yeah, this could be a new relationship, you know, there's no love there because this person is arrogant. You may... He may have or she may have be pregnant by somebody else or have someone else pregnant. But I feel like this situation is getting ready to be over with soon. Somebody is letting go. I feel like this person is letting go of you. And it could be because of your arrogance or because you or them have a baby on the outside. You know, but there's no love here. You know, it's just, yeah. Damn. All right, so there's no love. Nobody's opening up their heart. I'm feeling like this could be a new relationship that just went sour, okay? So you can just scrap everything I said before. You met somebody. You're violating their personal space. They're violating yours. Y'all both being arrogant to each other. There's no love connection at all. Um, this makes me feel like that this is a new relationship and some this person is thinking about letting you go because you won't open your heart, but that's because you're you're arrogant and you're used to getting things your way. Okay. One more for the road. Then the Cleo cards right out the book. Alright, so it seems like this person is traveling to see you, or you might be traveling to see this person. Or maybe you guys just start living together. It could this could just be a new aspect of a relationship for some of you. You guys must have just start living together and then everything just went south. Okay. Yeah, so there's a lot of pissed off people here. Um people thinking you guys both think the other one is doing stuff on purpose. It's like both of you guys have had enough. This person don't feel like you care for them. They don't feel like you love them. And you don't feel like uh, this person respects your authority. Okay? So everybody's mad. All right? All right, Cleo Karn, straight out the book. Make sure you get your full message. All right, what's going on with the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini? 
Gemini love reading. Gemini love reading. October 9th through 16th, 2016. Mm. Yeah, so I kind of figured you might be dealing with a fire sign. Alright, so it seems like some kind of love offer turned down. Somebody's getting out of their head about it. It seems like somebody want their money back or somebody just put a lot of money, invested a lot of money and time into a relationship, a new, re a new relationship. So somebody just still may be all going off with somebody else. But I feel like this might be a future event like getting ready to happen. Somebody just received a message of new love, you know, but I feel like they might be turning it down or maybe they just turning down a renewal of this last love. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Love reading. October 9th through 16th. Gemini love reading. October 9th through 16th, 2017. Ooh, Jesus. All right, here go another story. This too much. All right, money going out. Big transformations because of um, manipulation. Uh... This is like somebody's just not willing to work hard for something. And somebody's making a plan to to get rid of somebody that's been stalking them and causing fights. And it seems like this is a slow progress. It's been slowly leading up to this point. Okay. Gemini, Gemini. All right, I'm about to cut these cards because y'all keep having all these sad stories come out. You know, I feel like we can do this forever. All right. Well, there's definitely a message coming in. Mm, message is going to make some people jealous. All right. So it's going to be a message. Maybe you've been working overtime lately. You know, you haven't been able to spend time for, with this person. And that's why um, they like, okay, you, you too much. You know, your job is more important than me. And I don't have to deal with this. You know, that's in some cases. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like somebody may be working a lot just to bring more uh, money in the home because maybe more bills were acquired. Or in some, I think in some cases, money is just going out the side door, you know? And somebody's spending money on stuff that they don't have any business spending money on. Okay, so it's definitely going to be some changes, but it's going to be good changes. Victorious, maybe better job. Um, and then this makes me feel like that it might be a baby on the side. And I feel like maybe that's where this money is going. Okay. All right. So let's read the cards. We're going to start off with the eight of staffs. All right. The eight of staffs says, um, this card will bring in, no, will begin to move very quickly. You may face some jealousy from those who see your success so this you being arrogant but it's like you putting it out there is arrogance too and i mean this jealousy is making them not want to be with you anymore i mean you're not treating them like you working more than you being with them so your job is more important than them okay so we got the seven of coins upright it says continue to work on your project remember that money can bring you great joy and great sorrow the importance of money is freedom don't let the money imprison you so it's basically like don't let your money take away everything that you've built in your life you know your house your home like your family is upside down right now because you want to work so much you know or or your um relationship or whatever it is you know you're getting ready to drop everything trying to make all this money okay and support this thing you got going on on this on the side or this could even be your partner going with something on the side because you work so much that's what i'm looking at right now that's what i'm seeing the most okay all right so we got the ten of coins reversed a card of violation theft sometimes gambling and thrill seeking so it's like I don't know. I'm only where it stick out to me is theft. You know, you letting the money, all this money you are making, you know, steal away the happy times in your life. You know, I know that check be looking nice, but is it worth love? That's, I mean, that's just me though. You know, I rather love than money all day, love than material things all day, because 
Material things get old. That feeling that you get when you love somebody never goes away. Like when you get a new car or a new house or whatever, after a couple of months, it's just your house. But when you got somebody you love, that feeling is amazing every single day. The warmness in your heart. Do you really want to lose that? But it seemed like you may have already lost it because she or he might have already stepped out and got somebody pregnant or got pregnant by somebody. Okay? All right. So the death card. The death card. Death card. Death card. All right. So it says... A dramatic change, the end of some current situation and death, life begins again. The beginning of new situations. So it's like, basically, this relationship may just be over. But good for you, you like to work so much. And we got this right here. You're going to get promoted even more at work. So you're going to be making more and more and more money. But this happiness, the happiness of a home happiness is like the sacrifice that you'll have to make for it. But that's all I have for you. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.